In Wildcat Country, fans will be stepping into a state-of-the-art commonwealth like nothing they've seen before. Uh, we play eight games at home, um, you know, in a new renovated stadium. When we're playing well and, and the stadium's packed, it's electrifying, and uh, certainly uh, our team feeds off that. You're opening a $120 million renovation at Commonwealth Stadium. You've got eight home games. No one ever gets eight home games. Kentucky has it, and then not to go out and get six, I think that would be a huge letdown and a huge setback. So they've got to figure out some way to get to postseason play. Translating positive energy to success is something Coach Stoops and his cats have worked to improve all summer. I mean, on offense, I feel like we've got a bunch of guys that are just absolute freaks, you know? Two years ago, we only had five guys run over 19 miles an hour. And just last week, we had 33 guys run over 19 miles an hour. So that's a huge improvement on our speed. Oh, we got um, you know the same kind of speed on both sides of the ball. I mean, everyone's out there competing, and, you know, just trying to run and give it everything they got. If there, there's a one question of concern, and it's for obvious reasons, it's going to be defensive line because you lost Zadaria Smith, who was a fifth-round NFL draft pick. You lost Bud Dupree, who was a first-round draft pick. It put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. That, that's a big question. Oh, let's go. I think a lot of people in Kentucky are looking around saying, gosh, it's time for some payback against some of these other teams in the East, like Florida, which they haven't beaten since the Reagan administration. Uh, you can look at, at uh, Tennessee, which has perennially had their number. I think Kentucky's ready to take on those two. Three, two, three, two, three, two.